Hey, Coach, how you doing? I'm doing good, buddy. How are you? I'm okay. Um, obviously, you've seen Coach Terry out in practice field last year when he took over the O line, but you know, obviously, a different role this time around. Just your thoughts on how this first week with him, you know, running that side of the ball has gone, and what's impressed you about how he's kind of gone about it? Well, he's just, uh, you know, like his personality towards the guys, you know, just, uh, you know, very professional business-like, obviously, but, you know, just has a good good rapport, you know, with them. And, and they obviously know him, which is a huge positive. So, you know, obviously it's only been, you know, a week and a half here with a couple practices for during the bye week, but just feel like he's done a good job with, with the energy we have on offense and just to, to, to create, you know, some – some changes. Obviously, we made a change for a reason, and trying to create some change on the field. So, did some things different in our schedule. Did some things different in how we how we practice, and he's been a big part of that. So, just like what I see so far. But obviously, all that matters is how you play on game day. Zach Osterman, sir. You talked about, I guess, those changes in, in practice, and, and you know, we got a chance to kind of ask players how they felt it was going. I know it was earlier in the week, but have you seen? You know, I think Mike. Mike Kadick said basically, you know, he just felt like that's what got you guys so sharp for Ohio State, for Indiana State, was just kind of, you know, good on good so much in the preseason. Have you seen some of that? I recognize it's just a few practices, but maybe some of that same response since you made that trip. And, and that's the goal for sure, you know, just talking to his coaches and then with the players. And, and so, you know, obviously scout teams are a big part of what you do during the season. Always have been in you know, every place I've been, you know, so, but um, just trying to, you know, create some change to create a different outcome for our guys. And, and uh, you know, a lot of it is just, you know, the quality of those reps, the intensity of those reps that you get when you go against each other. You know, obviously when you get into fall camp, you know, the the reps, you know, ones versus twos, twos, ones, however you decide to, to divide that up is always very intense and very competitive. And sometimes you get into some, you know, even some scuffles, you know, in practice during spring ball and fall camp. You don't really get those when you go against your scouts. It's just a different level in that regard. So, and I understand that. So, but, but uh, I just think uh, we felt it was necessary. The players did too. So I think it's been good. Obviously, we're trying to think, think of the big picture of this whole thing, how we build this, you know, from this week moving forward as well. And uh, I think the guys have responded well, love the intensity during those parts of practice. Obviously, don't do it the whole time, but definitely have grown those, those reps and increase them quite a bit. And I do think it's been very positive. So obviously time will tell exactly the extent of the uh, the, the benefit. But therefore, I think right now it's been a, a good next step. Obviously, Rod stepped in as offensive coordinator, but also in the role as quarterback's coach. Just how have you seen uh, him kind of handle that aspect of it? And how have you seen Taven kind of respond to the change? Yeah, I think it's been good. You know, I think, you know, obviously, you know, Coach Bell did a great job working with those guys. And, and uh, you know, that was just, you know, that was his role as well. And so, you know, Rod was around them, you know, in meetings in regard to that type of situation. So uh, didn't, didn't coach him on the field in that role. But, but I think, but I already, already knew them. So I think that's a important part of, of being able to, you know, I sat in all those meetings this week with the quarterbacks and, and, and last week as well when we, when we practiced those first couple of days. So I just like the way he handles them. I think the guys responded to him well. And uh, I think there's a good, good uh, base to that relationship that was already established. So I think I can just build off that. It's obviously going to go to another level now and spend a whole lot more time together, coach them on the field, you know, correcting them. You know, the, you know, the essence of coaching is the correction of errors and just being able to, to how you do that, how you handle that. So he's got a good demeanor in how he handles our guys. And I think that uh, they responded well. So all, all the quarterbacks and, and obviously, uh, you know, Taven's the guy and, and, but Brandon's obviously getting lots of reps and as well as Dexter. So excited about that room, being able to, to have, uh, you know, right, right in there now, leading them. Jim and Daniel. Hey, Tom, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Um, when you're, you've had all this change over the last couple of weeks and you have to go on the road to play a team where you, like everybody else that they have played, is an overwhelming underdog in a, a, a uh, an environment that is like most places guys have not been. How hard is that to, to bring all that together? Yeah, I, mean, I think it intensifies the challenge. There's no question. I'm not going to, you know, hide from that. And there's no doubt that it's a tough environment to play in. And, and they're really good. You know, so uh, you'll have uh, schematic challenges. You're going to have physical challenges. Now, and then you got the, the environmental challenges of, of being loud, you know, and uh, really kind of the, you know, first chance for that for our guys. And, and so I just feel like that that's, 
really going to be important for us to respond well, you know, with a young quarterback and, and, our, and some and changes on offense, you know. So I think there's no question that that's going to make, make things harder in some ways. But at the same time, that's where we're at. So you got to respond. And so I think that the guys, you know, I'm looking for them to embrace in that, embracing the environment, embracing the challenges that that's going to create. I obviously tried to simulate that to this week, you know, with using crowd noise during practice extensively. When, when our offense is out there and uh, they're going, so uh, but that's uh, that's going to be a, a tough thing to deal with. But at the same time, that's that's part of it. Every time we go there and and uh, have several stadiums in this conference that are this size and going to have this type of crowd, so but without a doubt, our guys got to handle all this and uh, continue to grow as a, as a football team, grow as an offense, and keep building. Right, Daniel, last one. Good morning, coach. Good morning. Um, Obviously, like you've talked a lot about like the decision to move on from Walt Bell and from Rod Carey, and I think you've said quite a few times that that was mainly just you guys weren't scoring up points, need to see more production. But just one specific area that I think was kind of a lot of people been talking about is the short yardage situations. Obviously, came up against Louisville, had the play against Maryland, didn't work out very well. How do you think Coach Carey can really help with those? But especially with his background as an offensive lineman, having coached the line so many times. That that matters so much in those short yard situations, how you block. It really does. I think that's, that's a really valid point. And there's no question that led to some of our issues. You know, you convert those short yard situations, whether they're on the goal line or whether they're, you know, in the, in the red zone or score zone or even the midfield. So uh, have to be better there. And you're right, it does start up front. And it's also execution of things and the communication and maybe taking some things off the quarterback in some of those spots and making it more, you know, on the call itself and letting those guys just come off the football and be physical. And that starts up front. Coach Bostad has a big role with that. And, you know, Coach Bostad and Coach Carey's relationship and those guys working well together is going to be important with us moving forward to be able to, to capitalize in those situations and convert because obviously we have to. And so, but have not done a good job of that, not near what it needs to be. And it's happened several time so definitely a huge emphasis for us uh, going forward and it will, will manifest itself in, in the game on Saturday as well all right thanks Tom all right have a great day Elio